came across this video, the fastest scrap in Remnant 2. Uh, it turns out <clears throat> this person, Chicken VO, has found a really efficient uh, exploit to get scrap. Um, and the credit actually goes to Oxen Frosch um, 0815. Uh, so it's awesome that he's given him credit. Uh, so in this video, I'm giving both of these people credit because obviously they deserve it. I don't want to take any of the credit. But for what I've done for this video is I've developed a script and I wanted that, uh, to share that with you in case you want to make this exploit more efficient. So in this instance, um, Chicken Video... You can definitely pick up. Let's mute him for a second. Let me talk instead. He's uh, doing the script where he's um, found a way with this weapon to just shoot the... Uh, NPC uh, indefinitely and it keeps on dropping this item which is a severed hand and it allows you to pick it up and every time you pick up the ring you get scrap so in my exploit I broke down the steps uh, so let's quickly jump in game so what happens is um, this isn't the part that I've automated because this one's quite easy but um, you start off here you shoot this guy and as you're shooting him he's dropping a bunch of hands so I'm just going to continue shooting him. Oh, and also I recommend you play as Gunslinger because it allows you to have uh, indefinite ammo in your primary. Basically, whenever you use your skill, you can refresh your ammo so you don't have to worry about bringing a bunch of ammo for doing this. Uh, but then you pick up all of these. This is going to take quite a while since there's a bunch of them. Um, I also saw in the comments that if you pick up too many, it starts lagging, which I'm feeling a bit off now. So I'm going to hold off on picking any more so we don't accidentally crash the game because you might lose progress. I also read that people had ended up doing that. So what we're going to do is uh, look at the steps involved. So you can see that the first step here is right mouse button, inspect. And then the second step is E, uh, interact to get the ring off. And then the third step is escape. So what I did was I compiled a script um, that breaks down these three steps. Let me just get open, open this, just open it with notepads. Basically, um, if I click F24, or F23, which are two buttons that I've bound on my stream deck, I'll go into that shortly. So F24 and F23 are the triggers for on and off for this script. And then uh, mouse click right is the first thing it does. The second thing it does is press E, and the third and final thing it does uh, is press E. And this is uh, a continuous loop while it's running. So this will go on forever and ever and ever. Uh, this is actually based on a script I did for another game called Outward, where there was a similar exploit, and you could uh, exploit this. And it worked super well for that, and it turned out it worked really well here. I just uh, changed the triggers around and did some quick research how do i actually use mouse click right uh, but turns out it was super efficient so here's the script now in reality uh, i'm just gonna enable my phone camera so i can edit that together as well so you can see what i'm doing in reality so now i'm looking at my stream deck i'm going to hit f24 and that will trigger the script here in reality in the game and it will run through those three, uh, three stages that i've detailed and it will just um, take off that ring of the finger Keep going, keep going, and then if I want to cancel the script, I can click here, F23, and it will stop, and then it just goes back here. Uh, but I'm going to let this run, because uh, I don't want to do all of this manually, it's going to take a long time. And you can see here as well, I've already amassed 13,000 scrap, I started about 5,000 when I uh, found this uh, exploit on YouTube, so I'll just let it, let it uh, go. Click uh, F24 again. And then let's let it run for a while.
So in this section of the video, I'm just going to detail how you do this script. Uh, and to do that, I'm just gonna quote myself from a previous video, because it's exactly the same thing. The only thing that you need to do is use the updated script. And that script I will actually include in the uh, comments um, in the description below. So you can just copy paste it. You don't have to write it yourself. The only thing that you need to do is follow along uh, with the rest of the video. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions um, below and I'm happy to answer anything. Um, hopefully you can use this um, to get a bunch of scrap before they uh, patch it because I'm guessing that's going to be coming any day or week. Keep in mind this script only works with the older version of auto hotkey, so you need to use v1.1. So how do I get the automated script working? Simply copy paste the code I've included into Notepad, save it, name it whatever you want, but make sure you finish the, uh, with the file extension .ahk. This allows it to be recognized as an auto hotkey script. Run the script in Windows and then make sure it's on your taskbar so you know that the script is active. Remember there was a mention of the F keys uh, 23 and 24 in the script. We can add these as hotkeys in Streamdex. If you go into F keys and then you find 23 and then you add a corresponding one to F24, this will allow you to trigger the script on and off. And if you've done all of this successfully, you should have a script that looks something like this in game.